Hi everyone, this is me, Dawarinjan Tamang from Let's Help YouTube channel and you are watching PHP series. Today in this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a database and table in PHP. So please stay tuned till last without skipping the video. You may lose an important updates if you skip the video. Now let's start our lesson. Now first of all, we need to start our XAMPP. So let's open the XAMPP. And after opening them, XAMPP, you need to run Apache and MySQL. So click on Start. So it's running. Now, either you can minimize it or either you can close it. I'll just minimize it. And after running the XAMPP, Click on a browser, especially I use a Chrome browser. In the Chrome browser, in the address bar, you need to type a localhost slash php my admin and just hit an enter button. You will be redirected to the admin panel. If you are using this for the first time, you will not notice any database like this in the left side you will only see a new mysql performance scheme information scheme php my admin and test database in this page so all this database like db school Result, SMS DV, WordPress is created by myself. So today, in this lesson, I am going to teach you how to create a database like this. Before creating a database, let's see the sum feature of this screen. First of all, let's learn about database this database help us to create a new database and next is sql it helps to run the query we will learn about query in coming lesson now let's proceed for export export help us to export the database that we have created and this lastly import this import menu help us to import the database that has been created in another computer now let's create a database you can create a database either clicking on this database tab or either clicking on new tab so here i'll use a database tab so i'll click on this database and you will ask to write the name of database so i'll give the name as example and after giving the name of a database you can click on this create button your database has been created so in this way you can create a database it is pretty simple and easy to create a database here in the left side you will see the name of database example that we have created just now now in order to store our data into database we need a table so what is table means table it is the combination of rows and column so here is the example of table so these are the columns or vertical lines are columns and horizontal lines are known as a rows so here you can store a data so likewise if you want to store a data of a student 
For example, you want to store a name, class, date of birth, and address. At the time, you need a table. So to create a table, we need to click on this database, create a table. So here I haven't created any table. So this is fresh database. Now you need to define the name of a table. So I'll define the name of table as student underscore admission. You need to define after giving a database or after giving a table name. You need to define a number of columns. That means how many columns you need. Here in this table, I've got one, two, three, four, and five columns. So I'll give it, I'll write five columns and I'll click on go to create a table. You see your database, your table over here. So here it is a field name. Field name means I have given a field name as serial number, name, class, DOB, and address. These all are the field name. Now you need to give or you need to write a field name. Firstly, we need a serial number that is SNO. Either we can use S slash S underscore number. Now name. class dov and lastly address now type what type of it is data type that's integers a where care a text or float whatever else serial number it is always integers so let's do not change this give it as integer a name name either you can give a text or either you can use a where care so i'll prefer to use a bear care over here class it is integer type dov it is date type so i'll use date and address it is also a bear care after choosing the data type you need to define the length so serial number i think it will not ex exit more than 10 digit so i'll use a 10 name the name, the characters of a name is not more than the 50s character. So I'll use a 50 number class. I'll use under 10 DOB data both. You can use either 15 or 10 or I'll use a 15. Now address, address it may be, it may exit a more than 100. So I'll write 200 over here. Now leave all this default collation attributes, all these things as default and you can scroll this and select from here, you can select this as a primary, click on OK. This serial number you need to choose as a primary key. And if you want to increase this serial number automatically as you enter the data so you need to choose or put a tick mark on this that is automatic a slash i means auto increment so if you want the serial number auto increment you have to put a tick mark over here after doing this much you can scroll down and click on this save button your table has been created like serial number is a primary key name class dov and address in this way you can create a table too hope you have understood please comment me in a comment box about your feelings regarding this video if you like this video please hit a like button and share with your friends and if you dislike it, please hit a dislike button. Thank you so much for staying with me. Bye-bye. Take care.